Hello, everyone. This is Aspects of Energy, and I'm Elaine Brewster. So happy to join with you today. Um, a little while ago, my neighbor's daughter-in-law and son were moving, and his, um, uh, his arm started hurting. And I had a, a, a wrap that you can just put over, over your arm. And so I ran home and got it, and I gave it to him and said, here, this should, should hopefully make you feel better. And he said, thank you very much. Well, when he brought it back to me, he brought it back with a measurement and a big smile on his face because he recognized that there was energy inherent in that wrap. Who in the world would know this? And, uh, and this was just my neighbor a couple of streets away. And so um, he thanked me by giving me this very beautiful um, bracelet, which also has energy in it. And, uh, and he, it turns out, is the president of Juva, J-U-U-V-A, international. And I thought, well, that's why he's gone to China all the time, because I guess your co-founder and partner is in China. And a lot of the a lot of the um, a lot of the business is there. So we have so much to talk about today. Right now, I'm just going to kind of leave it open to Grant. This is Grant F. Pace, um, my wonderful neighbor and president of Juva. Would you please tell us um, what Juva is, how it got started, uh, any of these things that you would like to tell us about for starters? Elaine, thank you, and thank you for having me on your popular blog uh, and uh, podcast. I uh, I understand that your your uh, your friends and colleagues and others on here may actually have more expertise in some of the areas that we might talk about, but I'm certainly pleased to talk about Juva. Juva is a an eight year old company. Uh, it was founded not with an energy perspective, we, we just kind of stumbled into that. It was founded on a, a concept of identifying extraordinary high value products that could be useful tools for our sales organization. Our objective is to help, help people earn income. Uh, little bits if they're interested in a little bit or lots if they're interested in a lot. Uh, uh, Elaine is right. My co-founder in this business is a Chinese gentleman. His name is Frankie Giao. Frankie uh, was uh, raised in Malaysia. His family uh, escaped the persecutions under the early days of the Mao regime and fled into Malaysia. And there he grew up with his family. But his grandfather, his grandfather used to go weekly to the post office to send money back to mainland China to family members and Frankie would accompany him to the post office and and his grandfather said Frankie if you ever have a chance to do something good for the homeland as he referred to China if you ever have a chance to do something good for the homeland you do it so um, about uh, 25 years ago Frankie and I met when I was responsible for building a business in China he was recommended to me we uh, we had one of those initial meetings where you could swear you knew this person from another life. Uh, and uh, uh, we've been fast friends ever since. And his children call me Uncle Grant. And uh, eight years ago, we fo formed, uh, after a, a considerable thought, we formed Juva which has as its perspective to provide extraordinary products and sales tools for people who would like to improve their financial standing. During our search for the very finest products, we, we ran across uh, uh, what Elaine would call energy products. We discovered the power of uh, negative ions. And I, I'm going to not, not because I'm uh, promoting Juva products, but if I lapse into any of that, you'll forgive me. Uh, the discussion today is about energy and the value of energy products more than it is about promoting Juva's products per se. We have two that fall very squarely in the category that Elaine 
um, has come to a premium. The, the little bracelet I gave her was a promotional item um, for Juva. We don't sell that, Elaine. Lucky you, you oh. one of the rare, <laughs> rare, uh, they, were, they were promotional items uh, and gifts for our salespeople. But the concept is that, um, the, the number one selling uh, an ion product we have, we, we haven't been very names, so we've simply called it an, an, a nion emitter. And it looks like this. It looks like a little silver pen. Doesn't write. I came through um, traveling into the United States from Mexico. I went through um, security and they pulled this out. It, it stood out in there. Uh, they wanted to know what it was. And and I said, well, uh, before I could say anything, they said, it doesn't write. <laughs> I said, no, you're, you're right. It, it does not write. It's a medical medical device, I told them. It helps me with my pain. Um, and and uh, they could see that that might be a more complicated conversation than they wanted to have, and so they let me through. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, Sometimes it helps to review vocabulary just a little bit in the energy area. And again, I apologize. Many of you are experts in this field far more than I am. So, well, and, and let me break in before you start that because we want to know how that thing works. But, you know, nothing we say here has been approved by FDA. We are not making claims. We're just, you know, we're just explaining terms, explaining products. Um, maybe explaining experiences that have happened to us, and, and that's all we're doing. So go ahead and tell us how that works. Well, thank you, Elaine. Uh, the, the, uh, I think we all appreciate and understand that, that our bodies, in addition to having digestive systems, uh, vascular systems, chemical systems, we also have electrical systems, that there are electrical impulses and charges and our body responds to those those sorts of things and uh, in, in our company we recognize and use the term ion simply to mean that an, an electrical charge electrical charges can be either positive or negative the, the negative charges uh, carry the name of an ion they have a prefix in front of ion which is a n so it becomes an ion the positive charges, and by positive, I don't mean good, just simply not negative, the positive charges carry a prefix of CAT, so it becomes cation or cations. They'll forever, I think, be an argument over how to pronounce that. But so we, there are uh, anions and cations. Uh, inside our body, uh, uh, it's become established science that our bodies respond very well to negatively charged ions, to anions. Um, when, we, when we go to a waterfall and a delight to, with the moving water there, moving water and air tends to create anions. The, the beach, rivers, uh, uh, a, a strong rainstorm. When we step outside afterwards and we inhale and, and say, wow, the air smells so fresh, what we're really recognizing is the large presence of, of negative ions or anions. Uh, there are rare earth materials that, that emit negative ions, and that's what's contained inside this. If we could open it up, it would be hollow. It has a barrel inside. It's filled with these <laughs> rare earth materials. The flat end has a magnet there. The magnet helps propel the negative ions, uh, which is useful for our demonstrating the benefits of the product and for intensifying the presence of the negative ions. Whenever we are injured or have a uh, pain, swelling, uh, bruising, uh, we see that it may turn black and blue. It's painful. It's enlarged. The pres the 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 electrical manifestation of pain, 
or inflammation in our bodies is through an abundance, unwelcome abundance of positive ions. What happens when we, when we apply the negative ions coming from a device like this is they tend to kill the positive ions. And by canceling the positive ions, they help diminish inflammation, they help diminish pain, they help diminish swelling or bruising. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a poorly kept secret that I do a little bit of boating, particularly in Asia. There's an old saying that you were told once on the hardware on a deck of a boat. It's not true. I do it all the time. And, and when I do, I pull out this, this uh, ion emitter, uh, just wand it in the area that's injured, and in a few minutes, the inflammation is gone, and so is the pain. And if I do it promptly, I can keep from having any bruised and another broken toe. <laughs> uh, but we find that, that among our customers, people who have residual pain from, from uh, uh, you know, what they call a tennis elbow or muscular or arthritic pain or any, any time pains of those kinds are manifest in the body, it's because of the presence of those positive ions, I spoke of. This device neutralizes them, cancels them out, and, and uh, because of that, the pain is eliminated. So we're very proud of this product. It, it, uh, uh, it does just that. It's a, it's, a, it's a validation of what I think so many of you already know, and appreciate, which is that good, beneficial uh, negative charges help offset damaging, harmful, technically positive, cation particles and um, and we're better off because of it. I have a little device here. We use this uh, as a tester. It, we can actually measure the number of negative ions that are being produced from a device like this. It only covers, it only covers a little more than about two inches. So we have to multiply the reading uh, and every time you take a reading, it's going to be different um, because it's, it's your reading constantly emitting. It says ion there. I'm going to try and hold this still while it takes a reading. If you were here, you would see a little light flashing. It flashes uh, kind of wildly because every time it flashes, it's recognizing. Uh, ionic particles that are being emitted. And what it's doing is taking a reading and average that for me. So the average reading here, I hope you can see that screen is 1,700, I'm reading it back, 93, <laughs> 1,793 negative ions. So it's a little under 2,000 to take this and multiply it by six and on both sides, uh, we promise our customers that they're getting something that has 10 to 12,000 negative ions being emitted continuously. If you go to a medium-sized waterfall and take a similar reading, the, uh, the negative ions being emitted is roughly the same. So sometimes we say that with this, you're, you carry a waterfall in your pocket um, uh, and you're, you're receiving this continuously, this, those kinds of negative uh, negative ion benefits as if you were standing in front of a waterfall. So, Elaine, I'm sorry, I've run on a bit about this. Oh, no, it's fascinating. It's exciting, uh, it's an exciting uh, uh, product. We have, we're having a, a, a company event this coming week, uh, 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 I guess it's a week from today. Oh, wow. In Las Vegas, we have invited as a guest to our program a doctor from Chicago named Frank Urasek. Uh, Frank Urasek is a uh, Dr. Urasek is is a uh, doctor at Clark County Hospital in Chicago, which is the third largest hospital in the United States. Um, he's been in charge of pain management there for many many years, 
He's trained in Eastern medicine as well as Western, and he believes in acupuncture and those kinds of things. Several years ago, he discovered this, this product that we've been talking about and realized that he could use this instead of needles because of the ion emissions. Um, he's just been uh, asked to, to uh, concentrate in the emergency room sector of the hospital where there, there is a, uh, a concerted effort to try and reduce the use of, of opioids in the treatment of pain. And uh, I spoke with him yesterday on the phone to confirm his attendance at our conference. And he told me some of the, uh, some of the amazing stories that they're having by being able to use this device to manage pain instead of, instead of opioids, which is terribly exciting. So in the small in the smallish Juva world, where we we make this product available to individuals and customers and those who wish to resell our products, kind of on a one by on one basis, we are present in China, uh, Vietnam, Philippines, Taiwan, Canada, and the United States. But on a larger scale, it's exciting to me that this product is beginning to be recognized in in the medical community and places like Chicago and elsewhere. Um, as, as providing a legitimate pain relief alternative to the damage that drugs can cause. Because you can understand that seems, that seems like a little voodoo to people here. Just <laughs> wave this around and you'll feel well, it. You're so, you're so right. In fact, we try, and, we try and keep people from referring to it as the Juva wand. <laughs> because that only reinforces the, the sort of you can't see what's coming out of this and that's the problem with any energy product is you, you can't see it. Uh, we can demonstrate it. We, we do strength tests and balance tests. I'm sure you're familiar with those. Eyesight and eye movement tests. Uh, mm. People who exercise regularly uh, tell me that if they, if they wear one of these during their exercise, they can they can lift in terms of, of weights. They can lift 10%, uh, uh, 10 to 15% more weight. It isn't, it isn't that this makes them stronger. It's simply that it pushes back against the positive ions, the small little pains and inflammation and other things that are impeding them from being, being able to demonstrate and use the full strength of their body. Mm -hmm. so it's a continuing challenge, Elaine. You're absolutely right. To how how do we um, how uh, the the proof is in when people use it. Uh, when Dr. Urasek comes to our conference this next next weekend, one of the things he likes to do is after he makes his presentation, is he will then ask if anyone in the audience is suffering from from a headache or from shoulder pain or knee or and he'll them come up on stage and he'll show them how to use this. He's a he's very much a, a believer in teaching someone to, to, to self-administer the pain relief that they need. And and um, and while he talks, they do that and it's it is remarkable. Uh, it's just, it's just people are they come on stage because they're either cynical or they believe one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're cynical or they need help or they need help and either way they are they are very very pleased with the results so you were going to tell us about the cation shield oh yes thank you uh the other the other major product that we have uh, uh, uh is this i'm holding it in its package it has two little round dots here they have the flower of life design on them um they have uh, 3M stick them on the back so that they can be attached to electronic devices. I'm holding up here my phone and you can see the, this, the we call it a cation shield. Uh, it's also emitting negative ions. It's just in a different shape, which is useful for trying to push back against the harmful effects of, of uh, electromagnetic frequencies, EMFs. Uh, of course, one of the great offenders in our lives of EMFs is our, our very, our, 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 our beloved and, and, and well-used personal cell phones. 
um, inside the, the package that we sell this product with, and I'm sure you can't read it, you'll just know what I'm reading from. Um, the US government has a, has a measurement they call milligoth. Uh, it's a funny term. Milligoth is the, is the government's reading of the, uh, it's a reading of the presence of EMFs. And the government standard, and by the way, as I share this with you, it reinforces what I think we all appreciate and know, which is that we're under, we're under assault <laughs> by EMFs in the, in the modern world we live in. The government standard is that, that the human body should not be subject to any more than two, two milligoths of EMF radiation at any one time. Nevertheless, and I'm gonna to read to you from what's inside our little brochure here, our cell phones are putting off 100 milligoths. Our computer monitors that we're all sitting in front of here are putting off 20 milligoths. Uh, a vacuum cleaner is 300 milligoths. A game system, 200 milligoths. Microwave, microwave is 200 milligoths. A blender in the kitchen, <coughs> is 220 milligauds. A hair dryer is 200 milligauds. All these devices are putting out far, far more milligauds in terms of potentially harmful impact on us than we, than the government standard would allow. Fortunately, many of these are not, <coughs> excuse me, many of these are not on for very long. We don't use blenders for a long period of time or microwaves or hair dryers and even the vacuum I try and use as short a time as I can. <coughs> but the cell phone, cell phones we, uh, we have on our bodies most of the day or nearby. Um, if you go to, if you bought a new cell phone recently, the little booklet that comes with it, if you look at it, um, half of the printed material is around disclaimers. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the most recent uh, AT&T phone I bought uh, advised that it should not be used more than a foot from the head <coughs> and, and not more than 10 minutes at a time. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> I breathe something in. N none of us are that disciplined. We, we spend hours with this phone by our ears talking or responding to phones. Um, uh, we can, we've all had, I think, the experience of, of where our ear gets really hot <coughs> from being in such close proximity to the EMFs that are being emitted by our cell phone. In the United Kingdom and in France, the government prohibits anyone under the age of 17 from owning a cell phone. The reason for that is that the, the medical understanding that the cranium, the head of, of young adults is not fully hardened and they are, they are that much more vulnerable to the negative impacts of EMFs coming from devices like this. So to Elaine's question, this cation shield is we put it on the phone because the negative ions which emit from this help offset the positive ions which are the electronic presence of EMS. It it's not a it doesn't block the presence of EMS. If if you had something that completely blocked EMFs, your cell phone would not work. <laughs> I mean it's these are radio waves that come in and your phone responds to them and rings or we dial someone out, we're sending radio waves out, which go to a tower <clears throat> and are coded to find the person that we're trying to reach and ring on their phone. So the radio waves going back and forth and the EMS associated with that are passing through our bodies. Um, this little dot, however, tries to offset those the negative, one cation shield will counteract the negative effects of 100 milligauss. 
So it's ideally suited for, for phones. Uh, all the members of my family have received gifts from me with, with cation shields. Um, in the homes in which most of us live, we're surrounded by devices that are emitting EMFs. We mentioned some of them, but others, any electronic device uh, radiates EMFs. Refrigerator, stove, oven, uh, lights overhead, uh, the doorbell briefly while it's ringing. Uh, uh, and there's no way we, we're not willing to give up those things. We, we, we value them. They're, they're, they're some of the most treasured blessings of living in the day and age that we do. But we can protect ourselves from the negative effects by, by a device like this that helps offset those negative, the negative effects of the positive ions that are EMS. So I hope all that was understandable. I went through it fairly quickly. Um, just one interesting fact, Elaine, if you've got a minute more. Yeah. We learned that 5G, which is the much talked about higher frequency uh, internet communication wave, um, a, a 5G wave is much shorter. And because it's shorter, it can carry more data. Mm -hmm. and that's why it's valuable in the internet for all the modern uses of carrying voice and video images and movies and those kinds of things. But 5G was first used by the US Army as a, as a tool to disperse crowds because they could broadcast 5G into a, an unruly crowd and they would grow irritant uh, headaches, uh, skin irritations, uh, uncomfortable, and it would it would accelerate the dispersion of the crowd. So I find it absolutely amazing that today we're all excited about the additional movie uh, capability <laughs> that we have by 5G all around us. Um, and the first use of that was for military purposes, for police uh, police control of crowds. Wow, wow. Um, I, I would, I'm interested in um, what you see in the future for health care. And maybe along with that, you could tell us Juva's number one product. Yes, and uh, if we run out of time, Elaine, I'd be happy to, you're, you're so patient. No one seems to have hung up on me here. <laughs> uh, um, I do subscribe to the view that the, the world is vibrating and that we, there, there are, it, 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 even a rock uh, has a wavelength to it, uh, meaning that there's an oscillation electronically in, in even what appears to be the most stationary of objects in our world. And the, the, proper, the proper vibration, that, that energy signal, um, which is different for different products and different people uh, uh, is an, an amazing tool that I don't think we've even begun to understand uh, in medicine or science. Uh, Dr. Urasek, whose name I mentioned, uh, uh, what an amazing thing to think that a, 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 a little device that is, that is emitting something that's oscillating um, can impact and control pain in the body, as well as opio opioid drugs. And I, I think that's, and we marvel as we even talk about this or share it with each other. I, I think medicine is just beginning to understand some of those things. Um, we, we have a, Lynn referred to it, our, our number one selling product in Juve is this one, it's called True Silver. Some of you are familiar with, with uh, colloidal silver. This is, this is similar, although it's a much advanced generation. Uh, it's, very, uh, it's in alkaline water. Alkaline, of course, has the advantage of being able to penetrate through our, through our cells and into the bloodstream much faster than regular water. But, but what we have is uh, suspended particles of silver uh, that are that are we 
we call them structured, they're, they're imbued with the capability to act more as a machine gun than as a single shot. So silver, silver is not a heavy metal. Silver passes through our body within 24 hours. Uh, it's not like lead or mercury or any, there's no issues that way. But as the silver passes through our bodies in, in this alkaline water, as it bumps up against a, a bacteria, harmful bacteria or a virus, uh, and we've seen this under the microscope and I'll describe it to you in a moment. As it passes through it, it destroys those. Um, and it does so mechanically. It's not a drug reaction. It's a, it's a, it's a mechanical reaction that the, that the particle of silver is imbued with a, a resonant frequency that is destructive to the bacterial cell. So what we see under a microscope is slow moving cells in a bloodstream or other fluid and a, a particle of true silver bumps up against a harmful virus or bacteria. And what you see in the microscope is it begins to vibrate. And it, this cell will start to really shake and then it goes spastic and then it explodes. What has happened is that the particle of silver, the vibration, the energy in that particle of silver has has uh, has linked itself to the bacteria and caused the bacteria to begin. And by the time the bacteria adjusts to the frequency of the silver particle, it is destroyed. And then this particle of silver continues its journey on through the body and and. Ready to, to is ready to fight off other other uh, harmful bacteria or viruses that are present. Um, we introduced this product in in Juva six years ago. I travel the world, as Elen said, with my with my sweet wife Susan. We have not been sick one day, not one day since we started taking this. Wow, that's a testimonial for a product. I'm sorry, I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> Uh, no, but it, but, we, but it simply works. Yeah, we want to hear things like that. May I hesitate to do this, but but may I ask if uh, true silver can help at all with cancer? Because there are two or three cancer treatments that I know of. Because cancer cells are different; they um, they metabolically do not act like normal cells. In fact, normal cells, I think, go through 19 or more different steps and cancerous cells go through four. They're very wasteful. And so as they think that they're metabolizing, they leave behind a whole bunch of stuff, which means there's a bunch of iron and other stuff left in the cancer cells. And so other things can come along and shake up those cells until the cells break apart. Um, would this affect cancerous cells at all, do you think? I mean, I have to be honest and say we have not, of course, the FTC would never let us say that it does, even if it did. Right. Uh, but uh, we've not tested it that way. What we do know is that, is that it, uh, to the extent that a cancerous cell is an abnormal cell, that it is not a, a natural healthy cell, uh, uh, the natural healthy cells in our body operate at vibration levels that are undamaged by these. Even, even, even good bacteria like probiotics, which have a little fat coating around each, each one, it, it, it's it's a it's a immune from the vibrational impact of true silver. It may well be, but here I'm speculating. It may well be that if cancer cells are different. And do not um, do not exist at the same uh, frequency, behavioral frequency as normal cells. That true silver would have an impact on. Cool. I, you know, I, I can't speak definitively about that. I'm, right, right. Hasn't been studied. We, that. we have. Um, <clears throat> We don't approve of this process, but what I'm going to tell you is an extreme, which is 
because it, 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 it helps understand the benefits of these kinds of products. We have in the Philippines, we have uh, a, a sales representative whose sales model is to contact people who've been diagnosed with cancer, who are scheduled for surgery, and to say to them, look, I know you're going in for surgery. How much is the physician going to charge you? Uh, if I want to, I will buy you these products. You take these products for 30 days, and if you still need the surgery, I will pay for the surgery. If you don't need the surgery, you will pay me instead of the surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> and that's her business model. Huh. That's how she. And that's not approved by Juva, of course. Uh, that's not how we how we market and sell. But. Uh, these are high impact products, which, which is our business model. Uh, as I explained at the outset, we are not necessarily an energy company. Uh, we are a high impact nutritional uh, benefits company. Uh, we want to be able to say to those who would like to sell our products, you're selling unique and extraordinary benefits. Um, you, can, you can build an income, uh, income in doing so. And I think that that's why we've expanded so so well i i'm 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 probably going to just you know zip it and and not ask cuz i have a whole plethora of questions that i am curious about but does any do any of you have questions that you'd like to say or write on chat i think i've got a lot of people muted so i've got to unmute people you'd have to raise your hand one thing i was wondering is uh, can we get a code from Grant as far as if we're interested in purchasing these items? Ah, absolutely. We, we, have, a, uh, uh, we have a website, juva.com. It's with two U's, J-U-U-V-A.com. Um, and I can give you our uh, phone number. What does Juva mean, by the way? Or where did if you it go come? to juvaproducts.com? There's a shopping cart. You can juva, uh, no, juva shopping, juvashopping.com. Um, uh, that, it's a very interesting question, e Elaine. Uh, today, in today's business world, the front door of any business is actually not your physical office, it's the presence on the internet. So we wanted very much something that was unique to us. Um, we didn't want it to be confused with any other name. Uh, we, we chose Juva precisely because it meant nothing. I checked with <laughs> my partner in, in China and he assured me that it didn't have any awful meaning in Chinese. Oh, well, that's good. We put, we put the second U in uh, for interest and for memorability <clears throat> and and so that we could kind of tongue in cheek say that uh, Ed Juva, you are twice as important to us. Oh, cute. Uh, but I have to tell you an interesting story. The day that we launched, the day that we launched the company, one of our, uh, one of our distributors came to me and said, but Mr. Pace, you know, it really, it really is a word. It really, it really exists. And I said, oh, really? He said, yes, it's a, um, it's a, uh, you can find it in the, uh, in, 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 there's a dialect on the border of Finland and Russia. And Juva with one U is a real word. And so I then held my breath and said, well, so what does it mean? <laughs> uh, and, and he said, it means to toast, to honor, to oh. sell, uh, which is, which has proved to be a very nice it's a very nice meaning in our kind of business. And when we hold our events, we have some nutritional drinks. And at the end, we will uh, give everyone a little shot glass and, uh, and we will take a moment to offer a toast uh, to our customers and distributors and a, a, sort, of, a sort of juva to juva. That's right. Uh, which, is, which, is, which is very nice. Here, here is the phone number. Um, Uh, 
Sorry, I thought I had it right in front of me. Sorry to make you wait. And while he's getting that, look on the chat for Lorraine's new blog that's on the, the British Columbia wildfires. She has just started, so that will be very interesting. Uh, here it is. Uh, 801 528 1895. Thank you. That's our office customer service number. They'll be happy to help you with any needs you might have. 801 528 1895. You know, just like Luis Kasuga, who opened um, many countries and launched many countries. Grant has done the same. He has launched Philippines. Um, you know, this company, uh, what's another one besides the Philippines? Uh, Taiwan. Taiwan. Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have an office in Shanghai. Wow. We, we're, Mexico, we're, yeah. now, we're now selling in Mexico. We have Spanish language materials. Good, good. We want to see more people, um, especially me with writing this book about my husband's cancer journey. Um, we want to see more people understand that there are things out there that are non-toxic, that can really, really help them and that are effective. And that's, that's actually where a lot of my work goes, is talking about energy to help people understand that you know, that higher energy um, ra can raise our entire health. Um, just like you're saying, one little thing that can offset and can change our energy. So thank you for sharing yourself with us. We got you on a lucky week. Next week, you wouldn't be able to do it. No, yes, it's uh, from here, it starts getting very busy. Of course. Yeah, so thank you. Applause, applause all around. We appreciate oh, you're it. Right. You're, you're, very, you're very kind. Uh, uh, Elaine is a dear friend, and the story she told at the outset is very true. I was lifting boxes, helping a neighbor move, and uh, only someone like Elaine could be observant enough to see that I was in pain. Um, I'm, I don't think of myself as a complainer, and she came and she said, your, your, your arm's hurting. And I said, yes, it is. And she said, I have something for you. And she disappeared and then came back with this wrap, which I enjoyed, I enjoyed wearing and wore it so much, I felt guilty uh, returning it because I was so late in doing so. So Elaine, thank you again publicly for that that uh, very unique kindness of yours. You're, uh, well, I thought no neighbor of mine, if I've got something right here that can help them, no neighbor of mine is going to sit and <clears throat> and be in a world of hurt. Oh, thank you so much, and thank all of you. Um, next week, our guest speaker is Jeff Isom, who is in charge of a really wonderful way to raise your energy called Humans Being More. And the idea is that it's something that can help all of us to be a better us. So meanwhile, between now and then, find someone to smile at because it will raise your energy and it will raise theirs. Bye. Thank you. Talk to thank you. you. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you all.